who attends to our needs. Thank you, God, because you are God for us. You are God on our behalf. Thank you for fighting our battles. Thank you for giving us this life. Thank you because every of our days we shall fulfill in the name of Jesus. Monday, Rebo, Shataka, Bazende, Gerebosha. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we will be glad in it. Our hearts are filled with thanksgiving. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our God. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you, thank you, because we can stand before you. Thank you, because we can receive help. Thank you because we can receive help. Thank you because our needs are being met in the name of Jesus. Mande Rebosha Mazaka Rabazende Gerebosha Tara Babazata Kabaseke Rebo Shanda Rababa Sanda Rababa. Thank you because we shall possess our possessions on this Mount Zion today. In the name of Jesus, every word that proceed from here shall be of benefit to us in the name of Jesus, to our children, to our flesh. In the name of Jesus, thank you because our joy shall be full again this morning. We are gathered unto you, our God. We are gathered to magnify your name. We are gathered to bless your name. We are gathered to we are gathered to lift you high, our God. Thank you and thank you. Thank you for your presence in this place. Thank you for your power that will meet all needs in the name of Jesus. This is the time to keep quiet. I want you I want you to say something beautiful, something good, something sweet to your God, to your maker, to your blesser, the one who gives us mercies, the one who, who, who gives us grace to be here. We give you praise, our Father. Thank you, our God. Thank you, Jesus, our Lord. Thank you, the Savior of our souls. Thank you, our Redeemer. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you for peace all around us. Thank you for calm. We give you praise. Thank you for this ministry, Life Center Bible Church. Thank Thank you, Lord, for all our members. Thank you because we are established in your love. Be thou exalted, our God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all our families. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done for us this year. Thank you for what you, you will do for us in 2022. We give you praise ahead of time. Thank you because your promises are here and amen. We give you praise and we exalt you, our God. Thank you because you are dependable. Thank you, our rock. Thank you, our peace. Thank you, our joy. Thank you for giving us strength. Thank you because we live in perfect peace. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you. Join me to thank this God. He's been good. He's been faithful. He's been wonderful. He's dependable. We give you praise. Thank you for taking reproach away from us. Thank you for fighting our battles. Thank you for favors. We give you praise. Thank you for granting our speed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you because we have not lost our livelihood this year. We thank you, our God. We thank you, our God. We give you praise. We make you big. We magnify your name. Marebo Shata Kabazanta Karababazone Rekende Gerebo Shata Masata Rabazonde Gerebosha. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for provision. Maze Terebo Shata Masanda Rababazota Kabazonte Rebosha Ratata Tatata Kanda Rababazonde Reboshe 
Thank you for restoration. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. We give you praise. We give you praise, our God. We give you praise, our God. We give you praise, our God. Thank you for blessing our water. Thank you for blessing our bread. Thank you for taking diseases away from the midst of us. In the name of Jesus, we exalt you this morning. We thank you, our God. This is another time in your presence. Another time to be blessed. Another time to be restored. Another time to be refreshed. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you because there is life in your presence. Thank you because there is life in your presence. And in our life, there is no death. Thank you, our God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to go before God and say that this morning, that all the needs in your life, they are met. In the name of Jesus. The one that you know and the one that you do not know. Your needs are met. Your needs are met. In the name of Jesus. Your needs are met. Your needs are met supernaturally. Your needs are met. You, your needs are met. Your needs are met according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Your needs are met. I say your needs are met in the name of Jesus. Your needs are met. The ones that you know and the ones that you do not know. Your needs are met. Your emotional needs are met in the name of Jesus. Your financial needs are met in the name of Jesus. Your strength needs are met. The, the strength that you need to carry on. The, 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 the empowerment that you need. They, they, they are met. They are provided. This morning, in the name of Jesus, wherever there is a gap, the Lord fills them. In the name of Jesus, I say you are restored. Whatever you have lost before, you are restored. In the name of Jesus, you are restored to, to God's original plan. In the name of Jesus, I say the needs of your children are met. In the name of Jesus, their growth needs are met. Their intellectual needs are met. In the name of Jesus, Masheke Rebosa. Mazanda, Rabazote, Kebosanda, Rababa, Yakara, Baba. When you need the supply of, uh, of the Spirit, the needs are met in the name of Jesus. When you need guidance, the needs are met in the name of Jesus. Our needs are met. Our needs for guidance is met in the name of Jesus. The need for the leading of Christ is met. This meeting, this meeting, in the name of Jesus. The need for healing is met in the name of Jesus. Maze Kerebosa. Masa kanda gana baba zonta kabazete yekende gerebosa ratara baba zonte kende gerebosa rata tata 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 kanda na baba mazonde rebosa maseke rebo my needs are met the needs of my family it is met in the name of Jesus the needs of my siblings the needs of my parents they are met in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in my in my businesses in my endeavors my need for guidance is met. In the name of Jesus, my needs are met, my needs are met, my health needs are met. The needs, the needs that I have to have joy, to have peace, they are met in the name of Jesus. The needs of God's intervention, they are met in the name of Jesus. Maze, Mbosata, Rabazata, Kabazende, Reboshete, Yeke. Before I call, seven answer in the name of Jesus. Before I knock, the door is open unto me. My needs are met, all my needs are met. In the name of Jesus, Maze Mbosanta, Masaka Rababa Zota, Yakaba Sonte Rebosa, Rakanda Rababa, Yakanda Rababa. Join me to say that the needs of this ministry are met in the name of Jesus. Concerning our building program, our needs are met in the name of Jesus. Mazeke Rebosa, Maka Rabba Sonde Reboshe, Masanda Rababa Zanda, Rakata Yakanda Rababa Zende, Yegebo Sete Rebosa. Masata, Rakata, Yagamba, Zonde, Reboshe, Mashe, Zende, Rete, Yekende, Gerebosa, Masanda, Rababa, Rakata, Yakaba, Zonde, Gerebo, Masanda, Rababa, Baba, Yakanda, Rababa. When you need God to intervene, He rises up, He rises up, He rises up, He rises up. Our needs are met because we have our faith in Him. We desire, we desire Him. Masheke, Rebosha. Masanda Rababa, delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. In the name of Jesus, we delight ourselves in the Lord this morning. Our desires are met. In the name of Jesus, the desires of this ministry, we, they are met. In the name of Jesus, the desires of every family represented in Life Center Bible Church, they are met. In the name of Jesus, we release our faith for the supernatural in this service. In the name of Jesus, Masake Rebosa, Masata Rabazonde, Regende Rebosa, 
Nasa zata raba sonde gereboshe Rekede gereboshe ya kanda la baba We release our faith for fresh auction For fresh deliverance in the name of Jesus Fresh knowledge, fresh understanding In the name of Jesus In this service we release our faith For, for, for supernatural and common occurrences In the name of Jesus Maseke rebo shatara baba Masa zanda raba zonde gereboshe Nothing, nothing shall be denied us In the name of Jesus Nothing shall be withheld from us because we are in one accord in the name of Jesus. Thank you our Heavenly Father. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Heavenly Father we are here to meet with you once again. Our expectations are, are high. Father according to your world the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. We have expectations that our needs are met this morning. We have expectations that all our needs are met. Expectations for fresh deliverances, fresh auction, fresh, fresh, fresh anointing, fresh, fresh understanding, fresh wisdom in your word, fresh understanding in the name of Jesus. We ask for utterance for, for, your, for your vessels that you will use this morning. We release our faith for an uncommon occurrence in this meeting in the name of Jesus. And you say your word, where two or more are gathered, you are there in their midst. We have undoubtedly that you are we have undoubtedly in our mind that you are here to meet our needs and you are here present to do what only you can do go on in this meeting and bless us like no one else can father we give you praise ahead of time we bless you thank you our father we declare this meeting open in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit to the glory of our god in jesus mighty name we are praying praise the lord yeah. praise the lord yeah. hallelujah just before we go into praises um, the holy spirit ministered to me that we should read psalm 100 so that we understand what we we need to praise god this morning it says make a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands can we all read it together? Hallelujah. Let's start again. Verse 1. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Can we make a joyful noise unto the Lord in the house this morning? Hallelujah! Hey, let's enter his gates with thanksgiving. And into his cuts with grace. For so babire, for si la babire, for my soul alone be re. Be So babire, for si la babire, for my soul alone be re.
many wish that they were here but they are not able to we can't say we are holier than they are or that we are more faithful than they are but it is of your mercies that we are not being consumed we give you praise oh our God we thank you for the covenant of life that we have in you yeah. oh. you've got times and seasons in your hands You called for light out of darkness You don't need a man to be the God you are But you have chosen to call me your home You are God from beginning to the end
Madam, too quick. Are you still painting? Are you still painting your face? Eh, we are going for a naming ceremony. You don't you know? Okay, is food ready? Yes, oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that food is ready. Yes, pap, is there? Yes, oh, that's wonderful. I, will, I think I will start with pap. I think so. Yes. All right. Thank you. What is it? Uh, you see, you see that pap, eh? Is very nice. Yo, that pap, I, I love it. It's very delicious. Oh my God, that meat. Yo, yo, yo. You see that pap, that takalaka. Oh, sure. It's very nice. The food, the chakalaka, the pap. Oh my God! Of course, of course. I ate. In fact, I nearly want to stay there, if not because people will be looking for me. I need, in fact, I want to sit down there. I want to. I want to stay there for life. I'm telling you, the food is so nice. I enjoyed myself. Wow, that must be a very wonderful Ah, of course. Huh? Said name, baby. Name. Yeah. She said, ah, "That is uh, my trick question. I think it's my trick question. That one. That question is my trick question because I don't name and baby. I don't ah, baby. Food. We ate. We are talking about food here. Yeah. So you want to tell me that you only went to the naming ceremony to eat the food? You see when you got there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not our fault. We just we just went to the reception street. If it's young children now, I wouldn't mind. But you, you are both adults. Oh. I will expect more from you. How can mm. you go for a naming ceremony? Do you even see the parents? Not to talk of seeing the child. We don't see the, no, you, I don't even know the color of the child. Me, <laughs> yeah, I just said. Whether it's a male or female. Uh -huh. uh, as I, the way I'm looking at both of you now, I'm sure you. The fact that you didn't even see the baby, I'm sure you didn't even give the baby anything. How? Oh. We didn't. In our no. culture, when we go for naming ceremony, you must take something for the baby. Even if you are not giving the parents anything, take a gift or money for the baby. So both of you, as God just leave, leave the ceremony. Just leave. Yes. 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 Yes.
proclaim his name. Yeah. Yeah. Proclaim who he is. Yeah. Let the world, world know that the one we serve is the great God. Yeah. So let us continue this merriment. Let's continue. Celebrations galore. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. We have eaten now. Okay. You have eaten. Yesterday you didn't eat anything. You ate yesterday. Okay. Praise the Lord. I want to ask us a question. You just watch a playlet. Like how many minutes? Five minutes. Just tell me what you have learned. Anyone ready? Or oh, I should call names. I know some names that I can call. Oh, my God. How many of us sang a birthday uh, song for Jesus Christ yesterday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Jesus Christ. Okay. Did you see how old are you? How old are you now? Okay, you didn't bother. So tell me what you have learned. Glory. Clap for our daddy. <laughs> the more you look at him, like me, I know his name. One name. I will say it. But I won't tell you the meaning. Go and check on the... That is so you be the boy Okuda. Amen. Yeah. I know you will know it. Some will not know that. So tell me the name of Jesus. You know, the healer. The healer. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Now I want to ask. I don't know. Some of us, like Daddy and Mommy, probably we know this Daddy. They call him uh, Reverend Idowani Marshall. He sang a song. He said, "Go where the sinner is." Akola King. Yes. Go where they see an answer. Go and tell them about Jesus. Go where they see an answer. Some people will eat. Oh. We are all eating. This Christmas period, we are eating. We are changing clothes. We are drinking. All of us. We are, no, this holiday is for all of us. So, how do people write Christmas now? So, they have put X instead of so, and when you do it like this for anything, it's like what? You cancel. So, you remove. So, it remains M A S. Making a sheet of. Sorry. You get that? So, if you don't tell them about Jesus, anybody I give anything at this period, I tell them, Merry Christmas. Jesus is the reason for this. So, how many people have you told about? Because people are eating, they will eat. I will still eat today. So the main message for the Christian, the more you look at him, for the sinners, Matthew one twenty one. Why is this man here? Why is Jesus here? To save. So when you are not telling them, so what are we doing? Making a sheet out of the season, and we will not do that. You are going out there. You are telling them, how can someone come to the naming ceremony? The first question is, is the food ready? Ah, Where is the baby? It's not, you know the wise men, what did they say? Where is the baby? The foolish, you know, when there is wise, you know, the opposite. The foolish people will say, where is the food? So, and thank God, wise men are here. We are all here. We need to let them know. Don't just serve them. Don't just give gifts. Don't just wrap gifts. Tell them about God will help us in Jesus' name. So when wise men are coming, what do they do? So tell me the gift. So what does God represent? The spiritual meaning? Kingship? Then, Frank? Incense. For what? Incense? Okay, sacrifice, worship. Then, the other one. For what? A kind of embalming oil. They use it. That is the purpose why Jesus is here. Please, let's give him his gift. Let's appreciate him. God is counting on us. Don't let people just eat. Please. 
God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Takalaka was good. Hallelujah. Oh, you don't believe so? Takalaka was good. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you for this morning. We are grateful for this time in your presence. We thank you because this is the reason why Jesus came. We thank you for translation into your kingdom, into the kingdom of your dear son. Thank you, O God, for the love that you have for us. We give you praises, O God. In the name of Jesus, there is no God beside you. We acknowledge you, Almighty God. We say, God, you are awesome in this place. We give you praises. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I said, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Apparently, the praise leader and the drama team saw my message before they... Yeah, somehow, somehow they did. I don't know what they did, but somehow they saw what I wanted to talk about. And God is good. The Spirit of God is one. And I want to say, let's just bless the name of the Lord in here. We're not going to, we're not going to play any music. I just wanted to sing this song. Oh, Lord, my God, when I hear no some wonder, Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed then sings my soul my savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior God to thee How great thou art, how great thou art. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Almighty. There is none beside you. There is no God beside you. There is none that can match with you. There is none that can stand before you. Thank you for considering us. For loving us. For calling us your own. Those are things that angels are wishing they can look into. But we can't understand. The Bible says, what is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that you visit him. You made him a little lower than the angels. But you crowned him with mercy. You crowned him with grace. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your light. Thank you for the light of your word. We give you praises, O God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to quickly turn to your neighbor. You're welcome to church. If that person did not answer, just ask him this simple question. Do you have a situation or a problem? Ask that person, do you have a situation or a problem? Okay, if that person has taken, just take an answer. Okay, the second question is just going to be saying, it's just going to be, do you think it's unsolvable? Is this something God cannot handle? Is it too big for God? Okay, praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. The title of my message this morning is The Able God. The Able God. Say with me, The Able God. The Able God. Let's read our Bibles quickly. John chapter 5 verse 1 all the way to verse 9. John chapter 5 verse 1 all the way to 9. Are we all there together? Beautiful. Let's read, everyone. Let's read together. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is a, a Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of important folk, of the blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel who went down at a certain time, at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Do you still believe that that still happens today? Ministry of angels, do you think it still happens? Let's pay attention. Let's pay attention. Let's go on. And whosoever then first after the troubling of that water stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Verse 5. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The important, important man said and to answer on him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked, and on the same day was the Sabbath. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in our hearts. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is awesome. God is, God is awesome. God is good all the time. We need to understand one particular thing. We serve the almighty God, the creator of all things with whom nothing is impossible. He alone deserves to be acknowledged and worshipped as God. Now the question arises, is there anything too hard for him? We all have questions, but the truth is, it doesn't change the fact that it doesn't change the fact that if from him all things emanate, if from him all things emanate, then nothing can actually exist without him not even your situation not even the circumstances you're going through it cannot exist without him so you have to understand that if all things are for him and by him then whatever thing is coming out of every other thing that was made cannot exist without him this thing got here to someone he didn't walk in here it was the action of that person that brought this here. It is serving its purpose, but before it got in here, before it got in here, it was, it was without, what we call without form and void. It was just a sheet of plastic, this. Praise the Lord. So, it cannot exist outside of the maker. Whatever, whatever it became, this is not the only thing this material can become. Do we understand that? It can come out as a cup. It can come out as a tray. But today, we're using it as a what? As a pulpit. Praise the Lord. It could have come out as something else. What am I trying to say? Everything that existed. Bible says in the book of John, chapter 1, it says, Without him, nothing was made that was made. Without him. In the beginning, he is the, he is the God that created everything. I come in here, I'm not here to talk about God. I'm here to remind you. I'm not here to talk about God. I can try, 
but I, 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 I'm yet to understand who he is like that. But I need to remind myself and to tell me that God is able. I go through situations. Anybody here that doesn't go through anything, I just say you are blessed. I just say you are blessed. You don't go through any challenge. You are just there. You are in uh, he that dwelleth in the secret place, and you are just there enjoying enjoying everything. Good. But some of us go through. Some of us wake up and ask questions. We ask God questions. We're like, God, when? We go, how? This situation is present. How? But you see, we are all human beings. We forget very easily. The question is, has God done it before? Why do we forget? How is it that we so easily forget that he can do it? That whilst you are resting on the top of the mountain, there is a valley waiting. There's a, an experience you're going to go through to test if you still remember that there is a God. Praise the Lord. God is, a, God is able. There are several experiences that are in the Bible. I can't, I, I can't even make, I'll just limit it to a couple of them. The woman with the issue of blood. She had suffered so many things of the of physicians Bible's record that recorded that she went to many phys physicians invariably they must have told her we are sorry we have tried all we can we can't help you we can't help you but she said if i may but touch i'm just reminding you you know all these stories but i'm just reminding you Woman with the issue of blood, she just said, if I may but touch the helm of his garment, I will be made whole. And what happened? She was made whole. I remember talking to somebody some years back. She uses glasses. And I said, don't worry, it's not my wife. <laughs> that lady uses glasses and I'm, and I'm like, we were in church and I told her, but many years ago, and I told her, uh, do you believe that God can heal you? Of this is that glasses is this thick, like you know, they call it coke bottle. Those of us that know that's like uh -huh. that, that thickness, the thickness of coke bottle is as that is that thick. Now, the lady said something like, I, I mean, I asked the question, and the lady said something that shocked me. She said she has gone to many pastors, many preachers, and they've laid hands on her and all that. And she has come to believe that it's one of those things that God cannot do. So how she got to that point, yeah, she may be a teenager then. She may not have understood. In fact, she was a member of the choir. But then to come to that point, to say that statement, I'm like, then why are you here? Why are you in church? What is that state? What's, what's that supposed to mean? How did you get to the point of saying it is one of those things that God cannot do? God made you for crying out loud. God made this whole earth. Ask a scientist if he can give us the formula for a stone and make it now. One stone. That is how big God is. God so did it that you don't even know the formula for a leaf. To create a leaf, you need another leaf to steal something from inside that leaf and clone it. You can't make a leaf. Everything God made is original. It does not matter what you see around now. Everything God made. Man came and started distorting things. Even the truth of God. Man came to start to distort all these things. We have to be very, very careful. The things we allow inside of us. The pressures of this world. The things they tell us. The things they feed us with. And we subtly suck it in. We, we take it in. We suck it in. We, we absorb it. We are like a sponge. We're just soaking it. Everything they give us, we just soak it in and absorb. We're not built like that. We are people of faith. And so should it, should, so should it be in our consciousness. Let it always be there. Wherever we go, whatever we do, it should be in our consciousness. The lame man at the pool, we just talked about him. What about the blind Bartimaeus? 
For those of us that think that, oh, it's because you sin, that's why this is happening to you. Yeah. But the Bible says no, but that the glory of God may be revealed. What about that guy? That guy was lame, was blind for which one of them was 38 years? The one by the pool was there by for 38 years. There are people that that um, there, there was a, there was another guy that came to Jesus and said, "I brought my son to you." Oftentimes, the the, 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 the when when the evil spirit catches up on him, it throws him in the fire. I brought him to your disciples, and they could not heal him. And Jesus said something. He said, "Because of your unbelief, because of your unbelief." The God we serve, if I need to remind you, the God we serve is an able God. The God that made heaven and earth. The God that made all that dwells in it. Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell in it. He is the maker. He is the one that designed time. Even though he's not bound by that time. We are the ones that age. He is the ageless God. He doesn't number time. He doesn't number his age. He just decides when it is time, it is time. So don't set time for God. Don't let people set time for you as well. Don't let people set time for you. you are, they are not God. They don't know how God is dealing with you. Everybody, I listen here and I need to say this. Please know your God. Know your God. Speak to your God one on one. That is the relationship that God is looking for. The relationship wherein God is speaking, you are speaking. That is what he's looking for. Not you are speaking, God is silent. Not God is speaking and you are doing other things. No. It's a conversation. A continuous conversation. Have the unconsciousness that God is with me wherever I go. Even in this very situation. No matter how difficult it is, no matter how, 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 how hopeless it is, God is still God. God is still very much able. Praise the Lord. Let's go on for, for that. There was the issue of dead Lazarus too. Lazarus died how many days? What do you call that kind of a situation? It's as hopeless as, as hopeless can be. What about Jesus Christ rising from the dead? It's another hopeless situation. But he came out for our sake. That's not fairy tale. That's not fairy tale. Most of the things we read in the Bible, Samson, the spirit of God, comes upon him and with a jawbone of an ass, kills 3,000 men. What kind of energy is that? What kind of, how can you explain that? Can you explain walking on water? Can you explain parting the Red Sea? In case we've forgotten. In case we've forgotten. In case you've gotten to the point where you also get into the point saying, it's one of those things that God cannot do. I come to remind you that he did this one. He did it also for you. He just may have forgotten at some point when probably you were sick thought you wouldn't come out of it and then you came out now a new situation arose and then before you know what is happening you are already saying maybe it's one of those things that God cannot do one of those things that God cannot do maybe lie God can't lie praise the Lord what about the cruise of oil in a jar of a flower and a, in a jar and a jar of a cruise of oil and a jar of flour? What about that? What about that? What about manna in what about manna in the wilderness? What about speaking to to uh, 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 I mean shouting uh, speaking to a rock and water is coming out? What about striking the rock and water came out? Have you forgotten that? What about thank you? He said I was coming to that one, and I will tell you a story about that one. You think it doesn't happen again? It still does. I have a cousin, she stays in the United States. And there was this day, she just sent a book picture, a set of pictures out of the blues. There was a tornado that happened in this in where she was staying. Can't remember exactly where. And then the tornado blew 
the apartment. She had gone to work, and then she came back to, from work and slept. She was so tired, she did not even hear the tornado at all. The tornado blew that apartment. It was only her unit in that whole building that was standing. It was only a unit. And this is somebody, her father is a Muslim. But she chose the way of, of God. She chose Christ. And then she said, even if her father does not believe, she told me that now, I'm sure he, started, he must start to be thinking about it that how how that building the roof in fact by the time they came they started to they, they, they had to relocate her relocate her i think the building was insured or something so they had to give them a, an apartment to stay people were asking how how did you do it god still does miracles it still does wondrous things it may not happen you may not be seeing it but that does not change the fact that he still is in the business of doing miracles. He can still do it. He is a God of all. God is the God that said, I am filling the blanks. Do you understand? So he is what we say he is. And that is why you may have questions. You may feel like, why am I asking, who is God to you? Is he somebody you just call when you need problems? Is he somebody that just gives you your, for your business connections? If that is what he is, he will be that without question. The gifts and calling of God are without repentance. It is what you take him to be that he will be to you. He is God of all flesh. All flesh with whom nothing is impossible. Praise the Lord. He is God of all flesh. He is God of all flesh. He is God on the land and God in the sea. He is God even in the lion's den. He is God in the prison. Prison to people like Peter. Peter was bound. And then the angel of God came and loosened, loosened the prison for him to prison doors for him to walk out. Peter walked out out of brass, gates of brass. He is God that supplies the need. He is a God in the times of hunger. He is a God in the times of thirst. He is a God of grace. He is a God of hope. He is God of peace. He is God of love. He is God the most high. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you praises. Help us to see, help us to see who you are in our lives. Help us to see you the way we ought to see you. God is good. It does not matter what you see in the whole world. Something happened this year. I was writing a couple of exams. And for my sake, I would say it, it turned out in my favor. Because for no reason, I wasn't, the, 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 the whole stuff were so voluminous. When you are reading this particular book, um, course, you don't know whether you are actually studying this one. How many of you have been there before? Where you are studying this particular thing and then you think, you have, I've seen this thing somewhere else and you are still doing it. It's not the same thing, but somehow, somehow is, I mean, is, is reoccurring here and there. And then you wonder, how do you manage? Which one are you writing? You try to study for this one and then this one is, coming, is popping up. And for, for somehow, somehow, I, 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 I scaled through. Beautifully, if I may add. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful because for my sake, they made it into, oh, you guys are not going to write the exams once. I'm, you're going to have it throughout the course of the year. So I'm like, okay, that probably gives me more time to do other things. And then I, I'm, I mean, I did that. I would say it was for my sake. I'm bold to say that. And God is able to, for one, for one person, just for one person, he is able to change the laws just for you. He's able to suspend the protocols just for you. If you think what you read in the Bible, we are in an age where we start to question a lot of things. Where you say, where you, where you become something like, somebody like Gideon. Don't think it's really peculiar to you. Gideon asks, where are all the miracles? 
that our forefathers told us of. Where are they? Gideon asked those questions. If God is actually with us, why are we hiding? We are, we are suffering of the Midianites and all that and all that. He said, why are we hiding? But the truth of the matter is, does that change the fact that there is a God? Does that mean that God cannot handle the situation? No. But he, we, we are asking that question. We are in the stage where he asks questions. If God is actually real, why are certain things happening? Why did that person have to die? But God is, all, understand that all things exist to please him. All things exist. Everything he designed for his own pleasure. Just for him. So, understand who, I'm not saying understand who God is. Understand that that situation you're going through, God is able to deliver you. What about the Hebrew boys that were thrown into the fire and they said, Oh king, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. We don't care. Our God that we serve is able to deliver unto the uttermost. And if not, let, let it be known to you that we will not bow. I watched the, I watched the a skit some years back where some, some guys were they were they were, I think they had some issues and then they were, they were asked to renounce. They would need to bow. They did the skit of that same that same um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and then they started asking will you bow? They said, we will not bow. We will not bow. We will not bow. And then they said, increase the fire to 5,000 degrees Celsius. I mean Kelvin. And then they said, we will not bow. We will not bow. When they had we increase it to 10,000. He said, we will not bow. We will not bow. <laughs> we will not bow. Then they said, increase it to 50,000. Ah. Ha. Ah. 50,000. Ah. Will you bow now? We will bow. <laughs> Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Know the God you serve. Have a reason to serve God. Have the, have the reason for nothing at all. Have a reason to understand that he created you. They've gotten to the point where you are proving that God is a concept. People are proving that now, that God is a concept. It's a concept to keep us from doing what we want. We are the only beings that God created to do what we want. The only beings. Angels can't try it. We are the only beings that did... I mean, have you asked the question, why is the devil not forgiven? Is it because God can't forgive? Have you asked that question? But we, we, we do it freely. We, we can. God says, come. He said, no, I'm not coming. Because he made us. We are the ones he made in his own likeness and in his own image. Are you not blessed? He said, we should take no thought of what we will wear we or eat. For your father will he will what? He'll provide. He'll provide. He'll make a way where there seems not to be a way. I'm not saying fables this morning. I'm not trying to psych you up. But I'm trying to remind you that even in your life, he has done it before. Even when you thought you wouldn't make it through, he, has, he, he came through for you. He pulled you out. And he can still do it again. He can still make rivers in the desert for you. He can still pour off his goodness onto you. The Bible says he, 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 his parts drop fatness. He crowns the year with, with his goodness. You may have said to yourself, this year has ended. I don't have much. But you see, this little short time, things can change. In the same way people are born this minute, and the next minute some people die. It's the same way things can change. If you can explain that. It's the same way things can change. So, I, I'm here to just encourage us this morning to tell you that God is an able God. It does not matter what you're going through. He's still the God of all flesh. He's God on the land. 
He's God in the sea. He's God in the lion's den. He's God in the prison. He's God in the times of hunger. He's God in thirst. He is the I am filling the blanks. You fill it in. What you want to put in, put it in. He is God, my provider. That's why they say he is Jehovah Shalom, our peace. Jehovah what? Just give me, give it to me. Jehovah what? Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Uh -huh. Jehovah what? Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Rohi. Jehovah Sikeni, Jehovah Savaot. And then Nisi. Jehovah Nisi, as our banner now. Praise the Lord. So he is, at that time, that's what he is to them. That's what he is to them. There's a place, somebody said, Ebenezer, this is thus far as the Lord helped us. God of help. He has helped us up to this point. Praise the Lord. So God is what you take him to be. He is the I if I when they say who if they ask me who sent me, he said, Tell them I am. He cannot even tell you what he I mean, it's too big. If God opens that understanding under that I am, you you'll be shocked. The things that we, our limited brain cannot fathom. So God said, I am. Just tell him I am. And when I am showed up in Egypt, Egypt saw what I am can do. Because it has never happened before that you have frogs that cannot be controlled. You have swarms of flies that cannot be controlled. You have a whole pool turning to blood. You have in the whole city, first bones just died like that. It has never happened before. That is what an I am can do. That's what an I am can do. I am is able to supply your needs. The Bible says, my God, Philippians 4, chapter what? Uh, chapter 4, verse 19 says, my God will supply all my needs according to his. Have you thought about the riches of, Christ, of God in Christ Jesus? It is what we take him to be. He is who we take him to be. He is our peace. He is our helper. He's our maker. He's our healer. He's our provider. He's our protector. He's our, our covering. Our shelter. Our rock. Where we run to. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. He is our helper. He is, he is our light and our salvation. He is what we take him to be. Don't take God on only the healing part. Some people experience that. They experience only God. They experience God only in the area of healing. You strengthen yourself in the You say, no, I can't be sick. Yeah. What about in the area of finances? What about the area of childbearing? What about in the area of you praying for somebody and actually that person getting healed? It is not your call to determine how God heals the person. If God lays it in your heart to pray to your pray for a person, walk up to that person, lay hands on that person. Pray for that person and walk away. You are not the healer. That that person did not get healed is not your business. Walk up to that person. If you need to bless some, be a blessing to somebody, walk up to that person, do what God has asked you to do and walk away. How God chooses to bless you, you can't tell. You can't even determine. His word says, give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. If you do so, do you believe he can do all he said? Then do accordingly. You've had the word this morning. Be a doer of that word. Understand that God is God of all flesh. With whom nothing is impossible. Let's stand to our feet this morning. Hallelujah. I want you to take a couple of, time, of, 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 um, of minutes to just pray. I want you to just pray. I want you to just pray. I know you're going through. We all go through. We all go through things. But God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. I want you to quickly pray. I want you to quickly pray. Just ask God this morning for help. Ask him to help you. If, you. if you are feeling weak in faith this morning, the Bible says we should receive you. 
So we should receive him that is weak in faith. We receive. We receive you this morning. And we say we strengthen you. We receive strength of the most high. In the name of Jesus. Receive strength. Receive strength. Receive grace. Receive the ability of God this morning. In the name of Jesus. Receive faith. Let your faith be strengthened this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praises in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen